Hi, this is a very excited Maria Burke welcoming you to day 10 of the 10 Days of Magic. And huge congratulations for getting this far. Um, it's quite an achievement to stick with it. So well done. And I hope it's been really helping you. So um, like I said in day eight, I really do hope at this stage that you're feeling more empowered in yourself, more relaxed and a lot more in control of things in a non-controlling kind of way, because that's the whole idea. Uh, live and let live, basically, right? So how was your day nine? Did you find it easy to formulate your question? Did you get your answer? And did you find the whole, the whole process helpful? I'd love to hear um, how you got on. So maybe you jump on Facebook and let me know. I'll be getting on there as well myself. So hope to see you on there. So before we get around to today's task, our final task, um, just if you want to stay in touch with me and what I'm doing, there are three possible ways. And again, there's no pressure. You'll know yourself if it feels right. And that's the whole thing about this. Trust your intuition. Nobody should be forcing you to do anything, especially yourself. So the three ways, if you want to stay in touch with me are you can A, on Facebook, follow my Inspiraction page and like the page. And furthermore, if you want to be absolutely sure not to miss what I'm doing, uh, do go for the see first option under the drop down menu for follow. That's the first option. Your second second option, which you may or may not want to do, is to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thirdly, on my website, you can sign up for my newsletter. And I promise you, I won't be spamming you with loads and loads of things. Um, it'll only be every so often and you always have the option to unsubscribe anyway. And I absolutely will not be giving your email um, addresses to anybody else. So just to recap then on our last um, nine days, what have we actually done? So we started out using the daily affirmation and I hope at this stage this is something that you want to continue with. Um, I know myself that life works much easier when I do it. I've often found the days I've forgotten to do the daily affirmation, I'll come to a situation where there's cues everywhere, just nothing is working and then as soon as I sit down and write the affirmation, things change. Over the time, I hope that you've started to really connect or grow your magic muscle more and that you're more trusting of your intuition and your gut, your gut instinct. And also that you're really buying into this idea of taking inspired action because really it makes life so much easier when we do that because that is the right moment to take the action. We've sown our seed for your big goal or your big dream. So watch how that continues to unfold for you. Once it's sown, it's like a tree. It's going to keep growing over time. So watch it and don't be afraid to follow the nudges as they come along. We've also learned how to put your intentions out there your, for happy surprises or likewise, uh, more recently then, on day eight, we were looking at um, setting intentions for meetings. But you know, you can set your intention for the family holiday, for exam results, for anything you want to do, for even for taking a trip, everything. In fact, I write affirmations for all the major things that are happening for me every day. It might sound crazy, but it actually just means life runs smoothly ask and you will receive and that setting your intention is definitely asking so then um on day six i introduced the idea of my three-pronged approach which is the daily affirmation combined with using my to-do lists and then on day seven i talked about this whole time management piece of setting your alarm throughout the day so that you can actually be really present in between the segments, uh, between your deadlines and between your appointments, etc. And I hope that's really beginning to work and that you're finding a lot more peace in your day and that life is flowing more for you. And then finally, on day nine, uh, we were looking at formulating your questions so that you get the answers yourself and you don't have to be relying on everybody else to guide you or to manipulate you a lot of the time into what they want you to do. So I hope you're giving yourself the space to formulate your questions and giving yourself the time then for the answers to come in. So well done on that. So now here we are at our final task and it's kind of hard to believe that it's day 10 already. And I think the most perfect thing to do today would be under our thoughts and ideas, what we are going to write in is, what is my right next step? And you may want to say for my soul, put that in brackets, uh, on my personal development journey. So let's just look up here at our, for the one final time on our nice orange page. So here you have your magic day 10, your date, you're writing your daily affirmation and under thoughts and ideas you're writing, what is my right next step for my soul on my personal development journey? And I will put that wording both in YouTube for you and on Facebook so that you have the wording. 
And what I would say to you is, whether you're new to personal development or whether you're a seasoned uh, personal developer, as I am, I'm, about, I'm on this journey about 25 years now, that question will help to open up things for you what's, so you know what's next. Um, if, uh, one thing, just to give you a bit of a pointer, um, I have a book called My Kind of Magic and that's my journey in books and therapists and healers. Um, and as a resource for that book, I have a page on my website and I'll put the link below for you. But that is a reference to about 30 different books that I personally have used and all the links are there for you. I also have on that page the links to the healers and teachers that I have personally gone to on my journey so that you might find that very helpful. And that link will be both in YouTube and in Facebook for you. And likewise, I'll put a link in there for my book. You may feel you want to read it, you may not. That's perfectly okay. It's all about, at the end of the day, if you've learned to, to trust your intuition over the last 10 days of this journey, I've done part of my job, right? So well done on that. So um, I suppose here we are, we're at the end. And I suppose my final message to you is be discerning. You know, this is your life. And... May, do make a commitment to continue on whatever parts of the practice that you found were helpful. If it's the daily affirmation, the setting your expectations, your, your alarm, whatever pieces you found useful, uh, keep doing them. Find new things and add to them for yourself because it's your journey and you want to live it. And I would what, really do want to emphasize that, you know, this is your life and you need to live it. Because what I found myself in the past, before I started on this journey, I had become an accessory for other people's lives and I wasn't really living my life. And you know what? That's not gonna be much fun when you wake up dead someday and realize, oh my God, I missed this wonderful opportunity, right? So I want to wish you the amazing life you deserve. And what better way to finish up than with an old Irish blessing? So, may love and laughter light your days and warm your heart and home. May good and faithful friends be yours wherever you may roam. May peace and plenty bless your world with joy that long endures. May all life's passing seasons bring the best to you and yours. And so my final wish is until we meet again, if and when the time is right, enjoy your magical life. And I want to thank you so sincerely for coming on this 10 day journey with me. Uh, it's been magical for me and I hope it's been magic magical for you. God bless. Have a wonderful life. Take care. Bye.